Team Canada is the gold medal champion. Shannon, all right, Orrin, thank you again for the friendly proposition, but it looks like you've lost. So thankfully, I will not be singing, I will not be singing your national anthem. I will still retain any viewership that I do have on my blogs, and now it's your turn. Can't wait to see the video, all my friends and family, can't wait to see the video of you at your next youth ministry event, ending every non-speaking sentence, that doesn't make sense, ending every sentence that you speak when not on stage with the words a, E H, pronounced like this. A, can't wait to see it. A, it's gonna be good. A, go Canada, go. A. Hi everyone, it is the morning of Friday, February the 26th. And I'm doing this blog from the friendly confines of my office here in the Youth Ministry Office for the Roman Catholic Archdiocese of Vancouver. I'm doing this blog this morning because last night I again fell asleep in front of the TV. Yesterday was a huge day for Canada, picking up a bronze medal and a gold medal. The bronze was won by Joni Rochette. It's such a powerful and inspiring story, given that she lost her mother earlier this week. Also, Canada picked up a gold medal in women's hockey, beating the U.S. 2-0. And as you may recall, I had a friendly wager on that game, hence the footage at the start of this vlog. But it's not over yet. More on that to come. So after 14 days, we stand at 17 medals, 8 gold, 6 silver, and 3 bronze, with potential for many more, given that there's still curling, men's hockey, and some other events. Last night, I was at the victory ceremony at BC Place Stadium. I got to see the Canadian women speed skating medley team receive their silver medals. Also, we got to watch on the big screen as our women's bobsleigh pairs were awarded their gold and silver medals. Finland and then Canada takes on Slovakia. Both games today, both winners obviously go to the gold medal match. Both losers, I hate using the word losers, but both teams that don't win, ah, who am I kidding? Both losers will end up going to the bronze medal game. So just to follow up on my friendly wager with Shannon and Oren of Odwalk Ministries out of the States. And sure enough, just moments after Canada beat the US to win women's hockey gold, I get a little tweet or Twitter or message or whatever you call it from my friends Shannon and Oren saying, Hey, let's go double or nothing for the men's game. And I flash back to last year's NHL playoffs where I won round one, Canucks beating St. Louis, but then Shannon and Oren offered double or nothing for Vancouver, Chicago. And we all know how that turned out. So admittedly, I was a little bit trepidatious. Is that a word? Trepidatious about this latest offer from them. So they came to me with a few scenarios based on how well each team would do, the US men's team or the Canadian men's team. A bunch of combinations and permutations on whether or not they meet in the gold medal game, they meet in the bronze medal game, one of them makes the gold medal game, one of them doesn't, all these kind of things. And then I was negotiating with them and I said, wait a sec, I won the first leg of the bet, I have the hammer, to use a curling term, I should be in the driver's seat, to use a driving term, I'm the man, to use my own term. I said, wait, 
I shouldn't have to lose or risk anything. The fact I'm doing double or nothing means I'm giving up, potentially, my initial win. Also, the fact that I owe them these red Olympic mittens from a previous wager helps strengthen my case. So, the way it stands now is that the U.S. does better than Canada in any way, shape, or form. Odwalk is off the hook, and they do not have to record themselves using the word A after every sentence. However, if and when Canada outperforms the U.S., they will not only have to do their A thing, but they will also have to do our national anthem, O Canada, loudly, proudly, and seriously, with or without instruments, between me and Ottawa. So enjoy today's events, especially these hockey games, U.S., Canada, huge ramifications, gold medal match on the line, and of course, double or nothing between me and Ottawa. God bless, and go Canada, go.